Hi everyone. Today we will go through the whole animation process with you, such an elf. Let's start by building a skeleton and translating all pictures into meshes so that they are deformed under. We make a skeleton. We attach our textures to the skeleton. When we make meshes, we take into account geometry object. Let's turn on imagination. Imagine that this object has 3D dimensions, not a flat drawing. Let's leave the face. We'll add to the face additional bone, which creates a pseudo 3D effect. You can see it in the preview window down in the middle. Adjusting the scales it's not an easy thing to do. We create a test animation of inactivity. Which we watch everything, works as we want, does everything sway normally, is everything deformed correctly? If something is deformed incorrectly, we will fix it. Recoloring the weights. When we roughly realize that everything is fine, we do the main animation. The main animation is to raise our sword. How would he say, hey stop. This is my sword. Look how cool it is. The enemy will not pass. We frown on his eyebrows. When the sword is raised, it blinks. We are doing preliminary preparation, he leans back a little, in order to then step forward, raising his sword, with the whole body. When we do animation, we have to take into account the weight of the items he is holding. This weight will greatly affect the position of his body. Also on the sword. I'll make a glare. When the sword rises, a ray of light ran through it. When in the process I understand that I am missing something, then I can complete the bones and adjust the weight. We make animation for hair. Hair is always more difficult. Especially in complex animation, you need to take into account every movement, but in this case, the head movement. Each movement of the head will change the trajectory of the hair. So, that the glare doesn't go beyond the sword. We're going to make a mask. We fix the body on the hike. We make animations for hanging objects in addition to hair, add a little light to the character himself. This will not be particularly visible, but it will give some such a nice effect. Let's add a glow to these big blue stones. Let's straighten his fist. Because when he raises his hand, the fist should be different. Look at at the viewer. In the process, I decided that he would not just raise his sword, but also scroll it. Such things you must always take into account inertia. Because he raises his sword, spins it, and after that a little more the sword, as it were, adds inertia to his hand. I'm adding blur because if the sword moves fast, then the viewer will notice, if it is clear, then he will not believe that it really is. 
It happened quickly. Therefore, it is necessary to manually make the blur texture by hand. We have now exported our ELF to Unity. For beauty, let's add a simple effect to it. I add the background. Let's adjust the color of the background a little so that it is not so gloomy. Let's see how it looks. I also added an asterisk to the end. 